Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So before I begin with the official introduction to this video, I'm going to address my earlier video which was a shoe shopping haul and I received my very first dislike and my heart is broken in pieces. No, just kidding. Actually, first dislike means my videos are reaching out to people and people are actually watching my videos. So that was my shoe shopping haul. My choice of shoes, I'll be wearing them. To keep that aside, today's video is going to be a cooking video. Cooking video because I like to show off my culinary skills. So we are going to prepare Picadinho, which is a meatball in gravy recipe. Picadinho comes from the Portuguese word which means to poke and to eat. So if you want to see how to prepare this scrumptious meal, keep watching. So we see the ground beef here we are going to prepare our spice mix. We have got cinnamon sticks, a couple of cloves, peppercorn, cumin seeds, coriander seeds. We are going to mill this finely until we get like a fine milled powder. This is what the final spice mix looks like and this will be used in my ground beef marination. know the drill here my ground beef is ready to be marinated we have got the spice mix the chili paste the ginger garlic paste red chili powder turmeric powder and salt so we are going to get all handsy we let the marination set for two hours, two hours later we are going to whisk these two eggs to hold and set the meatballs. Take ground beef into our palms and form a round shape. Dip it into the egg wash and set it aside. We do this until we have finished the whole batch of ground beef. Meatballs are all set to cook. We are going to prepare saute by preparing our onions here. We are going to dice two onions, two large onions.
heat oil in a pan and put in all those diced onions in here. we are going to dice bell peppers we have got red yellow and to this we are going to add green too this is going to release a whole lot of flavor and we are going to have natural vegetable stock here going to add half a cabbage which I'm going to grate which will again add up to the flavor of the vegetable stock. Next we grate 2 carrots. This will add and give color to our gravy. We had two beetroots lying in the fridge and we didn't want them to go to waste. That also I'm going to add to my gravy and beetroot releases like a natural red color.
diced tomatoes to our saute so we are going to puree the tomatoes that will thicken our gravy Now we add water to this vegetable mix because these vegetables are going to release their respective flavors into the water. That is our vegetable stock. Finally, we add the puree. add turmeric to our gravy to add color and dimension to our whole preparation Again we add some red chilli powder to enrich the colour and taste of our gravy. As per your preference and need you can add more water to increase the quantity of your gravy. We let the gravy simmer and then finally we add the meatballs to this mix but we add in batches like if you have added 10 now stir and add another 10 because whatever is there in the bottom you want the meatballs to reach to the bottom and the new ones to be placed on the top
let this sit for 10 minutes and then we are ready to serve dinner is all served and i'm going to have these meatballs with brown bread okay well guys that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed the whole pikachu meatballs recipe it turned out delicious my mother has taught me to cook this but i gave it a personal touch so if you want to join me to eat these meatballs you may hit the like button and subscribe to my ch channel i will feed such delicious food if you subscribe to my channel so till then bye